LODQ reports here at Harden High School on March 11th were part of the school lost power today. After a day of partial power in the school, power was completely turned off at 3 o'clock so workers could finish up fixing the problem that was caused by water running through the pipes that carry electrical lines under the school and into the basement. The Supervisor of Utilities and Building Maintenance for Lower Marion School District, Michael McCoy, took me into the basement of Harrington High School to show me what had happened. Uh, actually what happened was with the rain last night, uh, because the fields are frozen, the water ran off the fields not being soaked into the ground. And being that the electrical manholes were lower than grade of the field, the water was running into the manholes. Filled the manholes with water. And on one manhole, uh, water started coming down from the wires in the manhole to the basement switch gear. Water was running in the one gear that blew two fuses in the gear. That's the power coming in. Goes into those fuses and then back out to the part of the building. Fuse boxes are protection for power. If there is an overload in Harridan's electrical system, the fuses will trip to keep the building from catching fire and someone getting hurt. It's almost like a circuit breaker in our home. These fuses fuse the 13-2 power down to a transformer within the building somewhere, and then the transformer feeds all the breaker panels in that certain area that it's fed by. And when water gets into that cabinet, those fuses can arc to the other metal in that cabinet because now they have the water vapor in there to give the electricity a pathway to go to the grounding. So the water was coming. cascading down through the chute. Was, was there a... There was water all over the floor, yeah, running out of the unit. Throughout the day, workers worked to correct the problem. This included using heavy machinery to build a trench around the manholes so they could pump all of the water out of the manholes. After they removed most of the water from the 12 foot deep manholes, they filled in the entrances to the pipes that carry the electrical cables. How much power is going through there? 13,200 volts. How much is that compared to? Well, no, normally what you'll find on the street, if you, if you look at your telephone poles, the highest power runs on the top of the pole and it decreases as it comes down a pole. So if you look at the top of a pole and you'll see the bridge on each pole with the three insulators, the power on that small little teeny lines up top are 13,200 volts. So I'm saying that the power coming to the building at 13.2 is so high that I do, do not even allow my guys to open those cabinets. That was, at this point, actually 13.2 can jump out and grab it. The power can actually, if you were standing here and the power was on and you had your hand, it can jump from those bars in your body. The guy down there in the blue is from an outside company. He came in this morning, suited up, and opened up the one cabinet. And then we just shut the power and he, he had suited and opened up the others. And my guys are not qualified to do that. Mike told me that this is the second time he has ever seen this happen in the district and that they would soon be regrading the manholes to ensure that this does not happen in the future. For more hard news videos, feature sports, and more, go to hhsbanner.com. Don't forget to stay informed, Harden. And for HBTV from Harden High School, I am Ricky Reports.